What's going on? So I caught some backlash because I did that Jill Scott defending Chris Brown video. Some people thought I was just, you know, I don't know. They didn't like how I spoke out with her defending him. And, and you know, I had time to think about it. And I, I thought I have to do this the way I want to do it. He'll never be Michael Jackson. He'll never be Michael Jackson. You need to stop. I got some idiots coming along in the comment sections. Wet between the ears, ain't seen nothing, don't know nothing, don't look up history, don't even care, don't even bother to go to Wikipedia to look at old video clips. How dare you come up to defending someone who's half-hearted, half-baked, third tier, on a good day, who ain't, who's got a shot voice, got some wheels, dancing wise, but if you, if that's the, that's an insult to Michael Jackson. It's an insult. I hope if nothing else, when that movie come out next year, that those same Chris Brown fans will look at that and say, okay, that was a standard. See, that's the problem. People always want to pop their guns and be keyboard gangsters and say stuff and want to say, oh, this, and you shouldn't talk this and all that. And why are you right that? Why don't you start your own channel? And if you live long enough to see greatness, you're going to tell people about it. You ain't got to hide it. Everybody trying to be like Michael Jackson still to this day. Nobody wants to be like Chris Brown. Nobody want to be a bum. Overrated. Half-baked songs. Yeah, about two or three, four, five songs I like. But there ain't no classics. Ain't nobody sitting around singing his corny songs 20 years from now. His okay movies. He's a great dancer. He can't sing. I like Fine Like China. I Fine Like China was a good cut in Zero zero was my cut too, you know, and you know, and they, they ain't loyal. You know, I like the loyal song because that was one of my favorite tagline. But he is not that deep. He's not even. He's not even a a, a, a half a whopper of Usher. So you know, he's a double junior whopper of Michael Jackson. And it's stu- and some of these people come out here who will sit up here. And say that, oh, he's he's not the second coming of Michael Jackson. There will never be a second coming of Michael Jackson. There was only one of him. And if you live to see it and you saw it, you're not tolerating these turkeys who are trying to get mad because you you pick on a little generic but non-developed, overrated, over-manufactured, and a cat who don't have the chops. And is soft like Pillsbury Doughboy compared to Michael Jackson. It really ain't no contest. It ain't even close. Okay. Stop with stop making this into something that, you know, it's like, I mean, really? This is what we're gonna come down to? This is what it comes down to. This is this is just so insulting on so many levels that, you know, people when they defend somebody, make them defend somebody that was great. Not make believe cartoon cardboard great. That's all Chris Brown is. You know. But anyway, I thought I had to address that once and for all. He'll never be Michael Jackson. He'll never be able to be in the same universe as Michael Jackson. He couldn't carry Michael Jackson's glove. He couldn't carry Bubbles' teacup. And he ain't got no off the wall, no thriller. He ain't got no classic songs. He ain't got nothing that is memorable as Michael Joseph Jackson. And I'm going to say it over and over and over and over again. Especially the black folks. Because people who don't respect and hold on to our legends and don't respect the past and want to run to somebody who ain't the half of the sum of the parts of the original. At least if you're going to run behind somebody, make it be somebody that you can say, yeah, okay, that person was great for their time or something. Nobody's talking about no Chris Brown as being great. He no good and well in his own mind when he ain't all high and inebriated and trying to claim whack gangs and signs and logos and crap. He no good and well. He don't belong in the same conversation with no Michael Jackson. He ain't even close. Another industry plant. And I do feel sorry for the kid because he got turned out as a kid and he hasn't really worked on his craft at all. His voice been shot. His voice sounds like a duck that's been pimp slapped, been choked out. Please hit like, subscribe, work on thoughts, comments. And I do respond. Thank you. Wash your hands. Keep your mind clear. Watch out for another shitter if you like. I'm out. Peace.